So fear, the big question, why do we have it? Why does everyone live in it 24 seven? What does it mean? You know, for me, fear is personal because it's what put me on this path. It's what led to these videos, the writing, everything was fear. I lived in fear my whole life. It drove every single decision I made. And the truth is, it started when I was really young. And then when I went into the jobs I went into, it kind of fed that. And you know, that's what it is. That's just how it starts or started for me. But here's the reality. We don't need to go through every single piece of why, every single, why is the fear there? Where did it come from? You know, my parents did this, my blah, blah. Okay, that's great, but here's the thing. The Zen, the real Zen practitioners talk about, and philosophers talk about cutting it off at the knees. In other words, what does the fear stand on which means it keeps coming up. The details don't so much matter because what happens, and take it from me, learn from my mistakes. You'll spend years dissecting these things and then you'll wake up one day and go, oh, it all comes back to center. There's something being feared. For me, it was essentially the fear of loss of control. All these little things, these fear pings, jabs, whatever, were me being afraid of losing control. And then you say, well, why do you lose control? Well, it's all, all of, all fear is rooted in the fear of death. It's rooted in the fear of no existence. What happens? That's why we have all these philosophies and all these disciplines, but it runs back around in a circle, as I said, and that circle always comes back to now. It comes back to a center point. It comes back to fear is a thought connected to feelings, which creates more thoughts and blah, blah, blah. But in 99% of cases, fear is literally just a thought and not something that has actually happened. And that's the main point that I want to make here or will happen. So ultimately, we are worrying about things that do not exist, right? Illusion, Maya, all these things they talk about. Fear is a lot different than caution. That's what David Hawkins said, Dr. David Hawkins in all his books. So caution is being aware while I'm out here. I'm not oblivious to what's going on. Fear is a chronic, deep, you know, it's visceral. And in reality, it doesn't serve much of a purpose. So that's what we have to realize is everything comes back to the center point and the center point is right now fear is out there maybe who knows possibly it doesn't exist i am not saying that caution doesn't exist i'm not saying there are situations that won't make us feel fearful that's not what i'm saying i'm saying at the end of the day it comes down to what is happening now and are your fears accurate are they real or are they happening and if they're not, you need to come back to the center. And that's what I've learned. It took me a lot of years to learn that, which is dissecting every piece isn't going to do it. It's coming back to here, presence, being, what is happening? Are those things happening? That feeling, all that fear, is it happening now? No. There's your answer. And don't run from it. Let the feelings come up. If I'm sitting here now and I'm fearful, I go, okay, so I'm going to do this hike, do this training. But the fears are there and that's fine. And then eventually they dissipate. So just, as I always say, contemplate this, look at it. What is actually happening? Use your faculties, your mental faculties to dissect it, but then stop. Because I'm telling you, it's going to come back to the same thing, which is this here is all we have and you might as well be living in it because all the rest of it is a maybe.